We may be seated, Your Excellency. As we are awaiting the arrival of the cortege, the Defense and Security Choir. The Chief Mourner, Colonel Panji Kaunda, retired, members of the bereaved family of His Excellency Dr. Kenneth David Kaunda, founding father and first president of the Republic of Zambia, Your Excellency Mr. Edgar Chagwalungu, the president of the Republic of Zambia, and the first lady, Mrs. Esther Lungu, Your Excellency Mr. Joachim Alberto Chisano, former president of the Republic of Mozambique, Your Royal Highnesses, our traditional leaders, the former vice presidents of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Davis Miller, the Secretary General of the Patriotic Front Party, Honorable Mr. Justice Michael Mson, the State Council, Acting Chief. Thank uh you. -huh. 
What we just uh, witnessed is the removal of articles before we go into the procession of glory. The wonderful thing in your excellence about uh, the measure is everything is real. Replacing back the headdress among civilians, that is madness, so to speak. But us is the work, and we love it. Thank you, excellence. Parade right, Commander, we can now proceed with the lowering of the casket, the drills. Please don't run away as we hear the sound of the guns very shortly. Shall we be upstanding? this reason that we commit the remains of His Excellency, the late First Republican President, Dr. Kenneth David Kaunda Buchizia, to the soil, eighth to eighth, dust to dust, ashes to ashes, in the sure hope of the resurrection of the body. Christ Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, who transforms all things, including our bodies, to be like His. I hear the voice saying in heaven, Blessed are they that die in the Lord from now onwards. And the Spirit of the Lord says, Yes, that they may rest from the sufferings of this earth. Shall we pray? Gracious God, we want to thank you for in your wisdom you gave to Zambia this great leader whose remains lie in this place. We thank you for all his services to humanity. We thank you for having filled to overflow in his life that he was able to give out even to the region in the southern part of Africa and the entire Africa and the world at large. We are grateful that you used him, Lord, to speak unity among the African nations, to speak unity in this nation of Zambia, to speak unity in the whole world.